you have like three huge cognitive breaks overrides a day like that's about it and then you run out of, your brain runs out of glucose you got a limited amount of like willpower every day and it usually gets spent on a bunch of stuff and so if you've got a big set of important behaviors that you want to rewire a lot of the stuff that's in james clear's literature is really where you need to look at there's a mountain of neuroscience evidence that shows that like biologically willpower is great in small bursts but it is unsustainable and the reason why is because like the the, the the your frontal lobe is where like all your executive functions are that's where your willpower is at right that's the human part of us but once you do a behavior a handful of times the brain wants to conserve calories so it actually converts it into a, a, a habit and it moves it to the mid part of your brain which is way more efficient so your efficient older parts of your brains is will occasionally listen to the you pulling the e-brake on your front from your frontal lobe a handful of times every day every time you do it you get to do it less per day and then you have to sleep eight hours to replenish that cycle and so if you want to make durable long-term change a lot of the stuff that sort of carl is talking about is, is is really really powerful my trick is is close to james clear's work which would be micro actions like if I can just go, okay, I don't feel like doing the thing that I have to do. If I can just, let's say it's the gym. If I can just put my shoes on. And once the shoes are on, I'm like, eh, I'll wander down to the gym. I just try to play these micro actions. And sometimes that works for me. And then the other thing that sometimes works for me is big dramatic action. 